Well, I'll go ahead and get started. Um, really just proud of our kids, man. It's, you know, we've been, we've been in some close games and, and, and we haven't finished games. And so we needed one to win, you know, just for confidence in regards to, you know, we know we can play with anybody on our schedule. That's not, that's, that's not even an issue. But we get look at one of our close games. And so, you know, when you're a new team, we haven't done these things before. And I've told these guys from day one, it's a process. And I said, you know, we're going to get better. We're going to peak at the right time. You know, the great part about today is we play good basketball, but it's not our best. And so again, you know, that's that's what I'm excited about when, when our best gets here. And so hopefully by the time we start rolling in the conference tournament, you start to see our best. But proud of these guys. I thought they fought. They really fought. They fought hard. Um, you know, we've we've gone through a lot of adversity in regards to been on the road. We haven't been on the first home game really in about three or four weeks. And so uh, um, you know, we feel we, we're confident in this building. Uh, but we beat a really good basketball team. And you know, what was great. I thought Cincinnati played well. It wasn't like they just played terrible. Um, but our guys finished the game. And that's the first time really all year against a good team. I thought we finished. And so I thought that was the key. As a coach, I guess, first and foremost, just there's a tale of two halves, mm -hmm. both teams particularly all. Um, there just seemed like there was a lot more energy. What y'all talk about yeah. uh, in halftime that really kind of spurred that move in the second half? Well, I thought we played with energy the first half. I just thought offensively we weren't making shots. Yeah, we weren't doing a lot of movement. But our defense kept us in the game. You know, and so we talked about that. We've seen that all year. Same thing happened in Memphis. You know, we go out in the second half, and, and, and we, we, we play well in the second half in Memphis, but we couldn't get over the hump. You know, today we made free throws, and we, made, we, we got stops when we needed. You know, in Memphis, we couldn't get that stop two in a row. And we got, so I, I thought his, his, uh, his strip of the big fella inside uh, also had a steal and a big time rebound. So we were able to get those stops. So when you can get those stops, you know, then, then, uh, then all of a sudden, and you hit a free throw too. Now all of a sudden, you look at it, you get a two point lead or one possession lead. And so that was a difference. But I thought we played well in the first half. We just didn't make shots. Uh, so I guess statistically, in terms of three point shooting, I mean, Eight of fifteen. I mean, you know, that was in the first half as yeah. well. I mean, particularly with uh, Kevin going five for five or four for four. What, yeah, he didn't miss a three. That's the point. <laughs> um, so just uh, you know, talk to me yeah. about the importance of hitting those three shots. Well, that's part of our offense. Uh, you know, one of the things we said we don't think twos are ever going to beat us. The big fella was pretty good inside, um, but twos really won't beat us. You know, we we we're more concerned about not giving up the three, and I, and that was I think they shot twenty seven percent from the three point line. And that's been a difference. When teams shoot 40% and make 9, 10, 11, 12 threes, that hurts us. Big, you know, the bigs inside scoring usually doesn't hurt us as much in that regards because, again, we're going to neutralize that by getting to the free throw and hitting threes. And I thought that's what he did. He, he, he kind of held us going the first half. We, we had nothing going, and Kev made some big, big shots uh, in the first half to keep us, to keep us around. So, Kevin, just uh, yeah, talk to me about, you know, this was a season high in points for you, um, really on fire from beyond the arc. Just uh, talk to me about it. Uh, you know, I was a little struggling on the beginning of the season, but you know, coach didn't give up on me. He gave me, he talked to me every day after practice, and then tell uh, uh, assistant coach to uh, take extra shots. So I know the, I know, I just play hard on defense. The offense will come. Yeah. Did you just say great Chinese coach? Owner is a great coach in Chinese. <laughs> I did. Can you see? Yes. He just said in Chinese that coach Hunter is a great coach. <laughs> I love this guy, man. <laughs> um, uh, so I, Coach, I think another big part was in terms of um, at the first half marker, y'all were about even in turnover margin. Mm -hmm. uh, they were out rebounding you by a good bit. They still they finished with more rebounds, but it was like a twelve point dis or twelve board mm -hmm. disparity at halftime. It was only six at the end. And I mean, um, y'all won the turnover margin. Um, yeah. So. Just talk to you about that. Yeah, the rebound, the, the rebound of margin I've said always is one of the most overrated stats in the history of basketball. Uh, again, you know, I look at the offensive rebounds. I think at the half, they were up plus three on us on offensive rebounds. Uh, again, we want to get back in transition, so we're not a great offensive rebound team because we don't want to give up threes on the back end. But our, we, where we make our bread and butter is that we got to turn it over. And we're one of the better teams in the country. We don't turn it over. And what we do is we turn teams over. And so it, it neutralizes sometimes size and some of those other things. But our defense is what wins games for us that way. And that's how we're able to score. And so we, we turned over a really good basketball team today. Uh, but again, even in Memphis, we only had 10 turnovers. And tonight, what did we have? How many turnovers we had tonight? Uh, uh, 10. 10. So, you know, we're, we're, we're at 10 turnovers against two really good basketball teams. And so these guys do a really good job of taking care of the ball. When you take care of the ball, you're going to give yourself a chance to win. Yeah, converting yeah. Uh, 18 points off of those turnovers exactly. to their six. Yeah. Um, so, Christian, I mean, just you had a, a strong game in general, but really near the end there, making a whole lot of big plays. Just talk to me about the game you had today. Um, really just everybody. Uh, in the huddles, we just talked about finishing. Uh, whatever it took, whether it was scoring, getting stops, rebounding, steals, everybody came together. Uh, 
So that went not just on me. I mean, that's on everybody from coaches down to the managers. Um, but uh, it was really just about finishing. Like he said, Coach said, we, we haven't been finishing this season. Uh, we want to finish this game and, and finish with a statement um, that, that we're, we're getting better every game. And uh, every game is going to be a fight. It's not going – it's not old two-lane basketball. And it's something that every team will have to look forward to playing us. Um, I've got to ask, I don't know if it was designed or what, but when y'all initially took the lead back, it looked like Tishon passed the ball off of a Cincinnati player mm. on an inbounds and went in, got it, and scored. Was that drawn up, or was that just him? Like, uh... <laughs> Tishon does that in practice, and I hate that play. I absolutely <laughs> hate that play. So he pointed to me to say, I told you it would work. And so uh, I'm going to take credit and say, yeah, we designed that play. <laughs> but that's something to Tish that's that, that is Tishon's personality right there. If, I, if you, if you want to know Tishon, that's him right there. He will take some chances, and uh, he's a confident kid. And that was a big-time play, and we needed that to, to, uh, to take the lead there. Um, so just talk to me about uh, being undefeated at home. Like yeah. you said, you know, coming back from that long trip. But, I mean, mm -hmm. how much of a difference being at home has made? So. Well, I think that when you want to change a culture, and, and we talked to you, you got to be good at home. You know, first thing you do before you can do anything is win games at home, and, and that's what these guys are doing. Also, if you want to win a championship, if you can win games at home and find some games you can steal in a row, then all of a sudden you're going to be there. And in this league, everybody's going to beat each other up every, you know, if, if you look, I don't think any team yet has won a row game in regards to in conference play. And so, you know, as long as you win your home games, you're going to keep yourself around, and that's what we want to do. Uh, but more importantly, I, I'm proud of these guys. I thought it was great. It was, it was great for our confidence in that regard. It was a statement win for us in that regard. Um, this whole thing about we haven't won a game in a league, that's somebody else's did. That wasn't ours. Um, this is only my second league game, and these guys second and third. So we, we don't know about that. So what we're trying to do is that, you know, we got to go back on the road now, and we got to go find a way to steal some games on the road. So it's a great day for our Tulane basketball. It's a great day. I want to say congratulations to our football team. I thought what they did was terrific. Uh, but it's a great day uh, for Tulane and Tulane Athletics to show that, uh, you know, we're here and we're going to be here for a very long time. So we got to go celebrate because uh, Moosey's going to make me some gumbo. <laughs> 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 <laughs>